What's going on everybody? Dwayne here. So I got invited out to go to a photography meetup. I plan on going to go do that and meet up with some other creatives. I know Tanya is the one that organized it and put that everything together and Eugenio is going to be there. He has two, two Godox AD600 Pros and two Godox AD400 Pros. So all photos will be taken with those lights they already got models and everything so initially we're just gonna learn about lighting and all that like studio lighting and how flash work and all that other good stuff let me go ahead and change and let's head on over there everything the 99 percent of the picture it's, right. it's about how you work with the motor okay so that's it let's do it Beautiful. <laughs> Good. Now, can you place your hips on this way and your chest on this one? Yes. Very close. Because I don't have that. Mm -hmm. You so. shoot tethered all the time? Huh? You shoot tethered all the time? I can uh, do it a oh, different wow. way. Yeah. If I got another computer, I. What's there? I <laughs> yeah. 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 Actually, on my studio, it's not the laptop, it's the laptop for a uh, Calibre big monitor. Yeah. Then I see it, you know, wow. the real pictures. The lights just filling. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. And let's say I want to get a particular light right here in this spot. If you don't put the grid, the light just go, you know, everywhere, everywhere. And for example, if you use one light all the time, it's not really necessary. But if you want to do a picture with, let's say, four different lights, you have to put the grid. Yeah. Because if no, you just got a big modifier, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, like here, you got light, but you don't got the beauty dish particular light. Okay, that's just important, and that's why I use this one because I got more of this one. On that one, you're talking about here and maybe here, so it's too close. Okay, just to get the beauty dish light, but it's a, a little black spot in the center and pull light around, but it's you know pretty commercial and nice. So we back at the crib and these are the pictures that I edited. Tanya, thank you for putting this together and having everybody come out and having all us come out. I mean, we started at 11 and finished at like two in the afternoon. It was fun. It was a, definitely a learning experience. Like straight up, I stepped away from photography as a whole and started to get more into video. If y'all couldn't tell, Eugenio made me realize why I got into photography in the first place. I had started to get bored with it, if you know what I mean. Like I was doing weddings, 
or still am doing weddings, portraits, and all these other different type of stuff, but I felt, I just felt like something was missing, but then I did this shoot and remember why I got into photography in the first place, because I could literally create and be my own person and, and take pictures the way that I want to take pictures, but at the same time, learn from other people and how they take pictures. It was definitely a learning experience and it was a worthwhile learning experience. I will say that. Hit the link down below and you can find Daniel's video. That'll be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something because I definitely did. And uh, <laughs> I just ordered two Westcott flashes. Uh, I think it's the Westcott FJ200. Um, I'm gonna see how them work out. See if I, I already got a model. And uh, I just need to pick a location. Maybe I'll do something here at the house. I got this backdrop right here. This was indoors, but not really in indoors because we had a lot of natural light, but it was controlled. So I don't know. I'm gonna figure that out and uh, I'm gonna get with the model and that'll be next video. But uh, if you learn something new, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know down below if you really did. I hope you did because I damn sure did. Yeah, bro. Follow me on IG and you'll see a lot more of the pictures that were taken. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>